Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us this evening. We are going to start out this evening's ceremonies with the Pledge of Allegiance, so if you'd please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Thank you everyone for attending this evening and for those who may be joining us virtually. 19 years ago, we woke to a beautiful summer morning. The skies were crystal clear and blue. Temperatures was comfortably warm and the nation was gearing up for a busy holiday and fall season. Children were going back to school, businesses were bustling, and the nation was at peace. Around 8.45 a.m. on that Tuesday, a passenger plane crashed into the iconic World Trade Center tower. About a half an hour later, another crashed into a second tower as bystanders looked on from the street. Then a third plane crashed into the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and a fourth crashed into a Pennsylvania field. We as a nation buckled and stumbled back as two towers crumbled to the ground before our unbelieving eyes. In those terrifying, mo terrifying moments, we all wept for the massive loss of life we had just witnessed while helplessly glued to our television sets in each of our homes. <clears throat> Many towns in New Jersey, including West Milford, saw our own husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, Cousins, sons, daughters, family, and friends perished that day. Like other towns, we gather each year on this fateful anniversary to remember the homegrown souls taken from us too needlessly and too soon. We honor the memories today and the legacies that they left behind. Some were victims of the attacks themselves, while others were a part of the more than 300 police, fire, and EMS lost at the scene in New York. As Americans, we came together that day in a unique and very special way. It was as, each, as, this, as if each of us and the more than 2,500 people killed were members of our own individual families. The grief of a nation filled the air. At that moment and for days after, we united in the common cause, standing shoulder to shoulder digging through the rubble and looking for survivors. No one sifting through the debris at ground zero cared what race, religion, ethnicity, or lifestyle those working next to them were a part of. There was no division, no hatred, no left, no right, no conservative, liberal, or independent. As we look around us 19 years later, one can wonder how we have deteriorated so far and remain so divided on this, sacred, on this sacred day. Can you imagine how today's calls to defund the police and other first responders would have played out on that day? What would have happened if the hundreds of emergency workers that voluntarily ran into the danger to save the lives and ultimately gave their own lives for strangers had they never met we're not uh, there to provide that aid. What do you think the heroic passengers of Flight 93, who gave their lives to prevent another attack on American soil by crashing their own planes, would think of us now as we march and battle against ourselves in the streets? That day, almost two decades ago, we showed the world the best of who we were what promise and strength of our nation truly was and should continue to be. We face our current challenges as a country, and I think we should take a few moments today to honestly reflect on the events of that day and how it made all of us who remember feel at that time. We should also take time today to tell our younger members of society that had uh, the not yet born what today means to us what living through that day was really like, and perhaps more importantly, how we in the aftermath um, resolved in strength, united in strength and resolve. 
the lessons of September 11, 2001 can still serve us today and may hopefully aid in our fractured society. So today, we honor the fallen and we rec recommit ourselves to the better citizens of the country they died for. This is the best way for us to all pay homage to them. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Reverend Janet Lavola is going to do our opening prayer. Reverend, if you would come up, please. Thank you. Let us unite our hearts in prayer. Creator God, you have created all things and called it good, and yet so often our actions seem to fall short of that word, and we find ourselves living in the darkness rather than your amazing light. And so on this day when we might be so tempted to turn our hearts toward anger and sorrow and grief, let us hold fast to the hope of your light. Let us remember, never forget, the heroism of that day, the firefighters who walked into a fire when others were running away, the first responders who gave themselves so selflessly that others might live. Lord, may we look at their example and model our lives upon their selflessness. Help us to find the hope amidst the wounds that nearly two decades later still mark our hearts. Help us to find the light of hope. Help us to find how we can unite again as one people, for we are all your children May we find a common cause, and may we find an uncommon hope as we build upon our past to create a better future, knowing that your love and your light will always walk with us and carry us through our darkest days. Bless each and every one of us and hold fast the memories and the love with which we hold one another. And may it carry us to a day of forgiveness and love. But may we never forget. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend. Next we have Mia Gratuzzi for the National Anthem. We now have uh, the police department with the replay in memory of the victims.
you, everyone. I will now read the um, members of West Milford that lost their lives. Jeremy Glick, the her heroic young man who helped prevent Flight 93 from crashing into the White House. Father Michael Judge, who died while giving last rites to victims of the World Trade Center. T.J. Hargrave, Jean De Palma, and Michael Zinzi. And then now next will be the West Milford soldiers that lost their lives. Lance Corporal Brian P. Perillo, Army Staff Sergeant Jason M. Buckus, and Army uh, Sergeant Eric Hernandez. And if we will may now join in a moment of silence in memory of these victims. Thank you. We now have Doug Weed with God Bless of the USA.
All these things we pray as your precious children. In your name, amen. Thank you, Evan. And now we have Tammy McLaughlin with us. That concludes the ceremony for this evening. Thank you very much for coming, whether you're watching virtually or in here in person. Um, God bless America. God bless you. And uh, may we always remember, God bless the USA. Always be united as a community and as a country. And I wish you all the best. Good evening. <laughs>